Well, well. It is not often I get a blackbird like myself for company. Ah, is that right? Have you come far? Not so far, no. Good, good. You'll not be stopping long, I take it. You'll be on your way again soon enough. I don't want to overstay my welcome. My name is Phelim. Phelim? A fine name for a blackbird. My own name is Finton, by the way. Do you happen to know of a glass tower in these parts? Well, I have heard tell of such a thing, but I've not seen it for myself. I'd say it must be a fine sight altogether. Have you laid eyes on it yourself at all? I haven't, no. I Is it fair you have come? Not so. You'll not be stopping long. Just as soon as I... That's fine, then. I could be here a while if I can't... Oh? Is that right? Well, you best start looking for it, then. Where should I look? Well, if it's not on the ground... And it isn't. And if it's not above the... Here's a wee stick to help you. Don't dawdle and dither and tarry now. It's the early bird catches the worm. Tell me about... This is a sad tale. Well... Summarise, is it? What's the... How did you get to be... Twas on you. The goddess on you. Stay well clear of her, Phelim, I'm telling you. Never address a poem to her, even if you're desperate. Was it she that made a bird? It was, to be sure, the old hag. You see, the way of it was, I had composed a few verses, hardly any worth speaking of, praising her as my inspiration. You know the way it's done. Then I came across the story of Ermidge, the healer's daughter, and my heart was no longer my own. And so on ya, indeed she did. No more a man, and not quite a bird. But do you know, I haven't given up hope. Not... Do you remember a man... And why wouldn't I? The fellow with the horse. Sure, he often came here with the woman. Never the same one at all. A terrible man.